Our adventure today starts at Icon Park, Orlando. Add contact to your channel, Nomadic Hippie. Welcome everybody to another adventure, an Orlando adventure. Today, coming to you from a soon to be open amazing establishment called I, I had to read it. I had to read it. Museum of Illusion. The first one in the United States. Now, from what my understanding is, there are other museums of illusion. Not the same company, though, in major U.S. cities such as Dallas, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, soon Las Vegas, Nevada. But at the moment, this is the only one in the United States that is this exact company. And I'm going to take you on a little adventure inside. And joining me today... Rick, the, let's go! The let's incomparable go. Jen Vargas from Central Florida Top 5. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what, are you ready? I'm excited. I'm totally excited. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you're in a rush. Yeah, let's go. She, she's in a rush. Jen. When she said go, I didn't mean go. Jen. Bye, Jen. Bye. Oh, Hello. I thought she was going in with me. I got to do this. El Solo. Anyway, let's go on in. It is not open yet for the general public at the moment. They're going to be opening up January 9th. A lot of the stuff is still under construction. Some of the exhibits are not ready yet, but I'm just going to give you a quick little walkthrough of what you can expect when you come to this amazing place. I mean, it doesn't always have to be Disney or Universal. Museums are okay, and Orlando is full of them. There are a few general rules. I don't know if you guys can read them because I'm not going to read them to you. I mean, I'll look at the pictures like definitely no smoking, no eating or food or drinks. Make sure you stand on these spots when you're taking photographs. Seems simple. So one of the first things you get to see when you walk in is an Einstein picture, but it's not exactly what it appears to be. So one of the first things you get to see when you walk in is an Einstein picture, but it's not exactly what it appears to be. Oh, one thing I've never learned was actually how to play cards. And I figure if I'm going to sit here and play cards, I might as well play with myself. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Rick. I hope you all brought money because... You're fixing to lose it. Oh, but, oh, I forgot my beer. I, for, I forgot my beer. Oh, oh shoot. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, so in my mind when I was coming here today, when it, I was thinking, I'm going to the world of illusion, I wasn't exactly sure what it was. I was thinking magic. But no, it's actual illusions. And I don't know if a lot of them are going to translate well on camera, but... They're definitely translating well on my eyes, on my retinas. So what is this grand illusion? Whoa. Oh my God, I could stand on it. Oh, oh, this is freaky. Freaky. Okay, that, that's pretty impressive. I can, looks like you can climb all the way down there, but not only that, when you look up, oh, it's the same. It's the same. I can go up, which should be fun. Or I can go down. Or I could just step off because this thing is oof, freaking me out, man. It's freaking me out. Okay, this is one of those illusions I don't know that's going to translate well on camera. But watch those images. This is just weird. I could do this all day. So some of the stuff in here, it takes two people to do. Jen had to run. So I'm obviously only one person. She came, she went, she conquered, she had an appointment to go to. She'll be meeting me later tonight, but at the moment, it looks like 
I'm flying El Solo. So the double stuff where you need two people, I may grab an employee here and have them do it with me as I get over in some of those double locations and you're just gonna have to pretend it's Jen Vargas, which is okay because the employees here are incredible. So here's gonna be another illusion. Everybody knows what these things are. Yeah, you wanna toss your cookies? Walk through something like this. Obviously it's not operational yet. This place is not open, but they will be soon. And look, that's me way down there at the end. That's me. You know what, it says, it says no entry, but you know what, heck it. Let's do it. Let's walk towards myself. Yeah, oh, it's kind of an infinity. You get that infinity feel. This is crazy, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy cow. Um, yeah. I don't know why you have to hold on. It does feel like you're spinning and you have to hold the guardrails. Wow, this is crazy. Oh man, oh man. Oh, it stopped, it stopped Rick. It stopped, you're, you're oh my God, start it again. Yeah, I, I can't deal with this, I need to run. I need to get out of here. That is just the weirdest sensation, man, weirdest. Okay, this is one of those two people things where one person stands in this far corner, another person stands in that corner. You can monitor up here and see that you're tiny and the person up here is super tall. And then you can swap it, but you can't do it when you're only one person. I guess what I can do, no, I can't do it. I was gonna say set the camera and the camera would be really tall. But uh, yeah, the cameras, you know what I could do? I could put the camera here in this little cutout. Let's check this out. So there is a place here where you can view the illusion. And it would look like one tall person, one short person. So definitely if you're gonna come here, come with two people. This here is not a two person thing. Would you look at this is mesmerizing. Now the camera's probably capturing the light flashing because this is actually stationary, but because of the light flashing at such a high rate, it makes it look like it's moving. But it's actually just a physical, a physical piece of nothing, of blocks. It's incredible how this looks. I could just stare at it all day. With the naked eye, you don't see the flashing. Just like these holographic images, I don't think they're gonna show up too well on camera. But they are cool looking. Now this one here is amazing. This is the infinity room. This is probably my favorite at the moment. Would you look at this? Holy gosh. Uh oh, there's, I'm in a room full of me's. Hey, hey, Rick, how you? Look at, gosh, if this was the United States right now, if it was just me, oh, it would be amazing. I, oh, I need, a, I need a female here. If I had, if it was a female and me, and we populated it to look just like this, oh, wow. I would change the name of planet Earth to I, I don't know what I would change it to. But you know what? Look how many of me there is. That's about how many people are camping at Thousand Trails in Orlando at the moment. Okay, now I'm having an issue is uh, how do I escape this? There is no exit sign. Oh, great. No exit sign. I think I'm just going to press on this mirror. Move out of my way, Rick. Oh, wow. Move out of my way. Oh. You can, get, you can get lost. Yeah, you can get lost in something like that. And there's a few rooms kind of like that one here at this place. This, this is a, an incredible illusion right here. I can't show it because you need another person, but this is what you would do. So you would get one person to sit on the floor. That's supposed to be a chair. And then you get one person standing here. And then you walk back here on this photo spot
I was hoping you guys would do that. <laughs> you, want to, you want me to sit on it? Would you sit on it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. She's awesome. Great tour guide. <laughs> okay, so look, so, so, oh, that's what I should have did. Put my hand uh, down a little, down a little, down a little. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> down a little. Okay, pat his head nice and soft. <laughs> Perfect. Have you show me? Okay, do it. You ready? Okay, I just stand on this spot. Do it. Come on, Mary Poppins. Dance. Dance for me, puppet. Oh, it would be so cool if there was strings. Right? And you like... Yeah. Whoa, look at you. It's magic. Oh, Dolly. So not only... You don't have to go to Tampa anymore or St. Petersburg. Look at that, his eyes, they follow you. Okay, that's not creepy. I swear, there is quite a bit of stuff to do here. Oh man, I should have put my light on, the dark light. But this here is like an RGB. You got the three colors here, and then they got the white wall back here. It's not one of those flash booths that put your shadow up. It does something, ooh, look at that. That actually looks kind of cool. Let's do it the other way. Let's do it the other way. Let's go. Is it behind you or in front of you? I think it's behind me. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to have to get a video of this for uh, my YouTube shorts, right? Ooh, that'd be a cool YouTube short. Let me break out my telephone. So this is another two-person illusion, illusion because somebody has to stand on this spot with their camera right here and take a picture in there. And what it is, they, they climb in here on the other side and put their head through a plate. And you, it's a pretty, pretty awesome photo op. But uh, like I said, I'm solo at the moment. Dang it, Jen. Why did you have a, your own appointment? Why did you have to go? Nobody needs an eye exam when you have all this cool stuff to look at. Okay, I was shown this and I thought it was pretty interesting. So you guys... Look at this. Okay, so let's let's uh, rotate the camera a little bit here. You got two of the same angles. One's longer than the other, right? You take this block up here. This one block fits. There we go. There we go. Fits on that one, right? And see? But look, if I slide it down. Come on, camera. If I slide it down a little, it also fits the longer one. How is that possible? How is that possible? That is so weird. And that's not the only one. Check this one out. So, we have boxes. I don't know if they're Amazon. I don't, I don't know what they are, but they're boxes. Two different shapes. Two, you know, one square. I wish I could get the camera to stay on it. One's square, one's long. You grab the box top. You grab this box top, and look, it fits perfect on that box. So how's a long one like that gonna fit a big square box? Well, it does. This is, it's, it's the weirdest illusion. It's the weirdest I, I can't explain it. Can't explain it. And this is kind of unique. Would you look at that? There's a triangle in there. But take a look, it's orange. But then you just watch it. All of a sudden, cha-ching. Look at that. How cool. I love illusions and special effects. And this is one of the coolest. Okay, what is this? A kaleidoscopy thing? Ooh. Hi. You could just be lost in here. Oh my God, my head is spinning. All right, that was just a quick little sneak peek 
at the muse of the Museum of Illusion as we get passed by by a speeding train, a speeding bullet. Not a speeding bullet, a speeding train. More powerful than a locomotive. That's how it goes. My Superman lore. My Superman lore. Anyway, so the price is going to be $15 to start. No annual passes yet. They're still building it out. It, it's not complete yet. A lot of the rooms, if you can see, still have the paper and everything on them. And it, there was a lot of stuff I couldn't show you because construction's going on. But it was pretty impressive. $15. I think later on they're going to jack it up to $24. There's going to be special events they're talking about, you know, for like February and maybe Christmas and stuff like that. They're going to, I don't know if the exhibits are going to change for that stuff, but it's going to be de the decor, the decor, if you will, will change and, uh, to suit whatever, uh, you know, time of the year it is. It's, it's going to be a pretty amazing place. If you want something to do other than the regular theme parks, come on over here to Icon Park. Check out the Museum of Illusion. You won't be disappointed. And then when you're done, maybe you got the Orlando Eye, numerous restaurants, even a small choo-choo train for the kiddies. No matter what you're going to be doing, it's going to be fun. Until the next time, guys, I want to thank Jen Vargas for setting this up for me. I want to thank the World, uh, the Museum of Illusion for have, hosting this quick little event. And, uh, letting us do a walkthrough and bring our cameras. That was really sweet of them. And uh, I want to thank uh, you guys. That's who I, you guys are important. I need to thank you guys for tuning in and leaving that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click on that subscribe button because uh, it helps. It helps me feel good and better about myself. I love the thumbs up. Until the next time, I love you all. From Icon Park, Orlando, Florida. Peace out, everybody.